you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking here on today's video. So today I'm super excited because we are gonna do some postpartum prep. I love watching these videos on YouTube. It's honestly where I gain most of my inspiration for how to prepare for postpartum. And so I just wanted to share my spin on it, what I'm doing, some of the products I've gotten, and how I'm just going to really prep myself so that when postpartum hits and after we're home from the hospital, I feel like I have everything that I need to recover and feel comfortable. One thing that's been really important to me this pregnancy is making sure that I'm prepared as much as I can for postpartum, mainly because I know myself and like I hate being uncomfortable, I hate being in pain. I mean, no one loves those things, but I do not deal with uncomfortableness and I do not deal with pain and anything like that well. So. Let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and yeah, let's go do some postpartum prep. Okay, so one of the first things that I knew I wanted to have made and ready to go is postpartum padsicles. Yes, I am here on YouTube making padsicles. Yep. I've only ever heard good things about these and that a lot of women really enjoy having them and that they are just a great way to help relieve the downstairs after you have a baby. So because I am trying everything and anything and I want to be over prepared for postpartum, I'm going to make some padsicles. So I have all the supplies here. I'm planning on, oh, I almost ripped that. So basically I've just gotten two different sizes of pads because I know that some are more comfortable than others. Some people prefer whatever. Um, so I got the like really large, super absorbency, like overnight ones. And I'm going to make five, I think of these for like the first couple days. And then I'm going to make some with the smaller pads that I might actually put inside of like the deep, the diapers that I got. So I got some adult diapers that I think are going to be a lot more comfortable and might help like hold in the pad, especially if it's like frozen and is kind of acting as like an ice pack. So that's what I got the smaller ones for. So we'll make a combo of both. And then like after postpartum happens and after all of that, I will hopefully remember to share with you guys um, like what worked and what was helpful and what wasn't helpful. So basically what you need to make the padsicles is um, witch hazel and aloe vera gel. So I just got this witch hazel from Fires Natural Remedies. You're gonna wanna make sure it's alcohol free. Think of a wound, and then if you were to stick alcohol on it, not gonna feel nice. You do not want alcohol in your witch hazel, so I made sure to get an alcohol free one. And then I just have this aloe vera from the company Simply Earth, and it's just like pure aloe vera. Just get your products as pure as you can. And then some people use lavender, some people don't. I think I'm gonna add a few um, drops of my lavender essential oil to them, so I need to go grab that, and then we will make them. As you can see, I've got all of my pads lined up and then I'm just going to go ahead and apply the witch hazel, aloe vera, and then a couple drops of lavender oil to each of them.
officially done making the padsicles so i have both sizes just here in this ziploc and i'm just going to stick them in the freezer and then they will be ready to go for when we get home from the hospital i'm just going to pop these in the freezer they're good to go and then i'm going to show you guys some of the other postpartum products that i have gotten another way that i am prepping for postpartum is by creating a postpartum basket that is going to go into the bathroom and this will just have everything that i'm going to need when i'm in there um, for healing comfort and all of those sorts of things so a couple of the things that I'm going to place in here and we're actually going to put this together right now but just showing you all the products one by one is I picked up these always discreet maximum absorbency adult diapers this is what they look like <laughs> this is now my life okay I have bought adult diapers but I've just heard that people, some, a lot of people prefer these to pads and I think I will knowing myself. It just seems a lot more comfortable than like a massive pad. So I have both options as you saw and then yeah. So I'm going to stick a couple of these in this basket so that when I go to the washroom if I need to change out my diaper, it's all in there. If I need to change out my diaper, this is... Oh gosh, the things we do to bring babies into this world. Anyway, so then the second thing that I did go ahead and buy was the Freedom Mom Upside Down Peri Bottle. So I watched a lot of different people's like kind of postpartum videos and just like what they brought to the hospital and kind of videos like that. And I noticed a lot of people enjoyed having this. And I'm going to be honest, I'm just all about creating ease and comfort during the postpartum time. And so I didn't mind like paying a little bit extra for this. I know that the hospital gives you just like a regular peri bottle, but this one, if I can open it, I will show you guys. It is angled. And so it just, it just looks so much easier than using like a ran, a, just like a regular bottle. So, okay, one second here. It just comes in the box and then comes in this little bag, which I think is super nice. I'm not planning on taking this to the hospital. I'm just going to use what they have there and then I'll use this here at home. This is basically what it looks like. And what I like is that it has this angle and so you can just fill it up with water and then after you go to the washroom, you can just wash yourself. And I feel like this just is going to be so much easier than the ones where it's just like a little nozzle and you got to angle it and all that. So I don't know, maybe that's so extra of me. I am an extra person when it comes to these kind of things so i don't even care but i got one of these so i'm gonna leave this in that basket as well and then i'll just always make sure that it's full of like warm water or whatever the next thing that i decided to go ahead and purchase was from earth mama organics and it's their herbal sits bath so i did also order an actual like sits bath like thing that you stick on the toilet Yes, I know, I'm very extra. It's not here yet, so I can't show you guys. Um, I don't even know if I'll end up using it or if I, I mean, maybe my recovery will not be that bad and I'll be like, why did I have all this extra stuff? But if it is bad, I feel like I'm gonna be grateful for it. So I did get one of those and you can like put this into that and then just sit on it and it can really help to just add some comfort and like help from in the healing process basically it's just like giant tea bags and then on the box it tells you different ways that you can use it so you can cool okay wait you can like lay them in water steep for five minutes let cool drain the extra liquid and then you can cool it in the fridge apply it onto a pad or into the diaper and just wear it like that or you can let the brood liquid cool down and take a warm sits bath so you can also use the excess liquid to then create postpartum padsicles. So there's multiple ways you can do this. It just comes with six. And so I thought, you know what? It's just another little extra thing. Um, I plan on trying them. And then, yeah, I am so extra when it comes to postpartum right now. <laughs> and then I almost completely forgot about this product. But I also, from Earth Mama again, got the Herbal Perineal Spray. I've heard great things about this. I plan on actually bringing this to the hospital as well. But I'm going to just stick it in here so I at least know where it is. And then when I pack my hospital bag for like good, I'll grab it from there. But yeah, I grabbed one of these because honestly, I've just heard so many good things. And people say they go through bottles of these during postpartum. So I did pick up one of these. So I'm going to put it all into this basket. We'll place it in the bathroom and then that will be all ready to go. This is 
what my little postpartum bathroom basket is looking like. I've got the herbal sits bath, the perennial spray, the peri bottle, and then I've just got some diapers here. And then I might throw in a couple pads if I end up using those instead. But then I have the postpartum padsicles in the freezer and those will obviously stay there until I use them. But I feel like having this in the bathroom will be really handy because I'll have everything I need and I'll just place it next to the toilet. But for now, I'm just gonna go stick it in the cupboard and yeah, feeling super good that this is all ready to go. That is basically everything that I had to share with you guys in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that for me, just feeling prepped for postpartum is really helping to reduce a lot of my anxiety and kind of that fear towards that recovery process. Knowing that I have a couple products here and there, knowing that I have the padsicles ready to go, I just feel a lot more like, I don't know, less anxiety honestly is the best way I can describe it. Um, I know that I still have a couple more weeks until even her due date and she could go over her due date and pass it and we have no idea when she's coming, but just knowing that this stuff is all prepped and ready to go is super helpful. So if you feel like I'm missing anything or if you use any of these things or any other products that maybe I haven't heard about or didn't know about that you would recommend for postpartum, go ahead and comment them down below because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a first time mom. I'm just trying this all out for the first time and I will 100% be sharing with you guys what I do end up using, how I end up liking all of the different products and sharing my like top recommendations for postpartum after I've gone through it myself and can have a more like honest review. Like honestly, I have no idea how I'm going to like using all of this stuff. I have no idea if I'll even like touch any of this. I'm sure I will use quite a bit of it. But like I said, I will share all of that and kind of like go over more in depth what I liked, what I didn't like after the postpartum process. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.